Hello Leo and welcome to your 2021 yearly tarot forecast. We are going to look at a lot of different things in this reading. We're going to explore how the eclipses are affecting you guys this year as well as we're going to take a look at each month and see the main energies. But we are going to start and see which spirit animal is working with you and walking with you through 2021. Okay, you've got the horse coming through. It is time for movement and freedom, Leo. Freedom, elegance, strength. You are being guided to break free from the chaos and confusion of life. Take action and expand into your new journey, creating balance of mind, body, and soul. There are new and exciting opportunities waiting for you. All you must do is take the first step towards them. So when you see the horse, at any point in 2021 that is this animal spirit coming to you and saying hey Leo take a look around take a deeper look what's going on inside of you what's your intuition saying okay the horse really guiding you trying to um, bring you into freedom break you out of any fear-based energies that hold you back bring you into a place where you're willing to take a risk and explore the unknown some of you there is a very very big change coming to you in 2021 let's pull some cards to look at the primary energies the highlights um, the first four months of the year mid-year and then the last four months of the year So nice. The first four months of the year, there's a milestone. So this is like an achievement um, in education or career or a relationship like an anniversary, um, maybe a very special birthday the first four months of the year. Okay, but uh, this is great energy starting you off as the main highlight. Mid-year. Look at that transformation and cycles. Now, I am not surprised to see this showing up for the uh, mid year, the four months um, here, because that's when the eclipses for 2021 start taking off in May and June. And then we have another one in November and then December. So um, the mid year, May through August. There's going to be a lot of change and transformation when you're truly breaking free and moving into new pastures and the end of the year. Look at that. We have courage coming through. So, Leo, it is time to take risks and not be afraid of losing or um, falling. It's This is your year. It's time for you to run free and not be shackled down, not be caged in, not be held back, not by your mind, not by your emotions, not by circumstances, situations, or relationships, okay? Major uh, breakthrough, big change coming, and I see like some of you, you're really going to have to be brave and just take a leap of faith, um, but it's going to have a very big, beautiful outcome for you and you start the year off with some accomplishment and achievement here so let's pull some cards to look at these eclipses and how they're impacting you specifically All right, so we have waxing moon energy with support, and this is coming with the Sagittarius full moon total lunar eclipse on May 26th. And that eclipse, being a full moon, it's bringing forth a manifestation to start adding on, building on, and growing on a foundation that you have already created for yourself, okay? So growth and movement with that eclipse. Next is the lunar eclipse energy with reconciliation, and this is attached to the Gemini new moon annular eclipse. 
So um, around June, there's a reconciliation happening in your life, and this could be um, a person coming back into your reality, or this could be a reconciling of ideas within you where you started something in the past, you had to kind of put it down, and now you're bringing it back to the forefront because it's time for it to really um, manifest and pop off. And in November, we have a full moon energy positive shift which is the Taurus full moon happening on 1119 another lunar eclipse and it's um, creating another positive shift for you Leo these eclipses blessing you and finally the Sagittarius new moon total solar eclipse on December 4th is opening some new doors for you which leads you in to 2022 so this year is like um, the breakthrough year, the break off year. And, uh, you know, to give you some perspective, 2020 had six eclipses. That's, that's a lot of eclipses in a year. 2021 just has four. Okay. So that should give you some perspective of all the crazy energy of 2020. And there's a radical shifting of that for 2021. Um, with the eclipses as well as Capricorn, sorry, Saturn and Aquarius. Saturn and Jupiter have moved out of Capricorn and have moved into Aquarius, and that is shifting energy. Aquarius is about wish fulfillment, satisfaction, and uh, socializing, friendships, networking. And you got this horse coming through. So this is the year for you to really break free. It's going to, who you are at the beginning is not who you're going to be at the end. So let's pull some cards to look month by month. January, you got the Eight of Wands. February, the Three of Wands. March, the Death card. <clears throat> April, Ten of Swords. May, Five of Swords. June, the Sun. July, King of Pentacles. August, Ten of Cups. September, Knight of Pentacles. October, Palace of Pentacles. November, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. December, the Tower. Leo. Uh, the last uh, four months of the year. Wow. For money. That's all I'm going to say. All right. So you start off with the Eight of Wands, which is movement. Um, it's a perfect card for the horse, okay? Very fast-paced energy. The arrows you shot out to the universe are now returning to you and manifesting in some capacity. A lot of good vibes, a lot of um, conversation. I feel like this is a lot of congratulations to you because we also have this milestone, okay? So January and February are is when that's playing out. Um, some great achievement. For you, like ships coming in, um, building on something, you just feel very accomplished, happy, and satisfied, okay? And I do feel like a lot of congratulations coming towards you, um, a lot of conversation, a lot of energy being projected <clears throat> towards Leo in January and February. Now, March and April, uh, March, April, and May, I should say, look like some... Um, intense months for you and out of all these cards those are the only three months that I'm kind of like you might not be a little happy here the rest of it is amazing okay so in March because you have this transformation right here talking about mid-year in March um, there may be some doors closing in your life Leo 
or you may be deciding it's time for some doors to close in your life because you're starting to prepare for this major transformation of energy and you go into April with the Ten of Swords and that is like the end, the completion and this could be where you're finally getting free of something in March and April that has been very very challenging for you very heavy for you um, this could be like the ending of a relationship like romantic or friendship and even though it does carry a degree of sadness with that ending it's also the thing that maybe has been holding you back and you're, that's what you're breaking free from initially at the beginning of the year, okay? Um, it's just March and April, um, there are closing doors, you're ending things, you're walking away, and in May, you're feeling like you've got to kind of defend yourself and your choices and your decisions and spirit is like, stand your ground. Um, you know what's good for you and so if somebody walks away from you in um, you know March or April if they try to come back in May because remember we have this reconciliation you're not having it Leo you are not having it whatsoever um, it doesn't mean you won't change your mind eventually because maybe by the end of the year you'll have a shocking change of heart but in May you're like nope need more time Okay, so um, March, April, and May, it's like uh, you're having to defend yourself and your choices. There's closing doors, there's endings, and it's just uh, the preparation for what's now starting to happen. Okay, because you come into June with the sun, and that is a complete energy shift from all of this, where you feel happy, you feel vitalized, um, you're feeling like... You're being rewarded in some capacity for some of you. Um, really just feeling like you're standing out. You're being recognized. Um, you are free. In June, you are free, Leo. So I just see like the ending of whatever has held you back previously. That's happening March, April, May. And then come June, you're healed. You're excited. You're ready to move forward and you're cutting your losses of the past, okay? And then here in July, we have this King of Pentacles coming in. And this could be um, somebody who is, you know, already in your life, and you guys are just going to start getting closer, and this person's going to be a very positive support for you. Um, it maybe helps you out in the career sector. This could, you know, some of you could be um, starting a new job, and this is like your boss, and you're really going to enjoy this person. They're going to mentor you and grow you. This is just somebody that you can count on, who is supportive, who is loyal, and trustworthy, and practical, and down-to-earth and has it together okay so this could be somebody you already know and they're really coming in in July to assist you and help you or this is a new energy coming into your life and it could be a new friend or new romance all right and then you move into August and in August Leo you feel like all is right in your world all ten cups are filled happy home life happy work life happy with self happy with the way everything is flowing. Also, um, if you have like a family that lives out of town, there could be a family reunion or um, get together that's significant and important. But this transformation here is really breaking you free. This is the major breakthrough energy, whatever it was that holds you back, holds you down, whether it's another person, situation, your own beliefs, you're you're done with it by the time you come to June. That's the transformation, and you're so happy in August. Okay, September. Um, it looks like you are starting a new venture of some kind, and it's going to be a very slow moving energy. Okay, um, this could be a new job. This could also be a new friend coming in, and this is somebody who's not quite as grown as this king of uh, cup or king of cups king of coins but this person is somebody who um, is also very honest loyal and true and you can count on them and they will support you and they will have your back okay um, but anything if it's this is not a new connection coming in as friend it's like anything you start in September is gonna have a lot of potential and success but it's gonna be a slower moving energy all right 
and then you move in to October with this Palace of Coins. And this here is some um, big undertaking or some major accomplishment, okay? This might be where you are finally buying your dream house, okay? Or you're starting your own business and you are um, renting office space or something along those lines, okay? Or this is uh, some sort of vacation in October that's very, very luxurious, all right? Um, this, to me, is... The representation of a material manifestation that pleases you greatly this is the highest denomination of the pinnacle suit okay this could be a big time bonus coming in because in November you also have the ace of Pentacles okay man this whole bottom row really does look a uh, strong for like starting a new job starting on a new career path or like starting your own business okay any of the three there is a lot of potential for growth success money and abundance okay absolutely 100 percent so those of you that this is like all around your career you're going to need some courage to take this step of whatever this is because if it's a job shift, maybe it's like you have to start at a lower level than you were at your previous job, but you're going to have major growth and a lot of money, uh, much more so than if you stayed where you currently are. Okay, so um, job shifting at uh, end of the year, very, very positively aspected, starting a new career path um, or starting your own business, okay? Um, for others of you, this is definitely where you're, this is like a big ticket item you're purchasing, like your dream home, um, maybe, and some of you, this could be like in a different location. Some of you, this could be like a second home, Leo. <laughs> Maybe you're going to start wintering somewhere that's much warmer if you live somewhere that it's cold, okay? Um, this is just like a big ticket item purchase of a house. Um, could be a vehicle because we have the night here. And, you know, whatever this is, you've saved and planned long and hard for it okay so this is going to feel like a major accomplishment for you um but this last month uh, this last four months of the year money is increasing for you in big beautiful ways and then december goes out with a bang there's a big surprise coming to you this is positive though okay um and this could also be where you really have to take a risk and the payoff and reward of it just shocks you it knocks you off your feet okay so december holds some big surprise for leo so let's um pull some cards to clarify each one of these um even though this energy is a little hard leo i do feel that march is a powerful time for you because you are finally getting free march june and then um, September through December, man, it's just popping for you. So let's uh, pull some clarifiers here. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands with the Eight of Wands. You are fire energy. A lot of uh, energy being projected towards Leo in January. Like I said, congratulations um, coming your way. Um, those of you who are single, there is a lot of people thinking about Leo in January or trying to get your attention, okay? Um, friends, family, it's just like everybody wants to be around you, Leo. And um, some energies that you put out to the universe are finally coming back to you and you're feeling good about this you're feeling very happy and the way this is playing out may be what gives you the courage to finally break yourself free of this energy that's really been holding you down and holding you back all right so here um, in February we have the Emperor with this three of wands and this is and look and um, this represents Aries and this is the Sun in Aries so very strong Aries energy for February coming through maybe um, some of this could involve an Aries but um, these two cards paired up Leo it's like 
finally things are paying off and you being strong, you being responsible, your ships are coming in. So January and February, big blessings, milestone, accomplishment, achievement, some sort of success and victory where you just, you're feeling on top of the world. You're feeling very in control of things, okay? It's like um, the energy has finally shifted in your favor for you to be able to move forward with the death card. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. And so um, you could be choosing to walk away from, um, you know, a job that you have worked many, many, many years at. And it's going to be hard and painful, right, to leave all that behind. Um, but you would only be doing this because you're stepping in to something much, much better. All right. Some of you, this is a very long standing uh, relationship or connection in your life. Could be friend, family member or romance. And it's coming to a close because you know that it's just there's no more viability to it it's run its course and it only holds you back and maybe at this point you've only been hanging on to it out of you know history or some sense of obligation um also uh march could be where we're deciding that we're gonna sell our home because we want to buy our dream home or we want to relocate all right so this is an ending of something that has been with you for a very very long time but remember this door must close for the doors that are opening where you do feel very free and satisfied over here uh the with april we have the ten of swords and the seven of swords all right leo april um it could be attached to this ending, you know, just residual energies that you're tying up loose ends. Um, but for others of you, this is somebody who um, just isn't a good person in your life, Leo. And maybe you're finally coming into the realization of that. Or maybe if you've had it to end, if you've had to end something by April, you're finally seeing somebody's true colors and it's not pretty. Okay. Um, this is what needs to leave your life. This is what holds you back. And some of you, this is your very own thoughts about yourself and um, what you're capable of and what could happen for you in your life. And because of just how powerful these first few months are, it's like you're finally able to switch your thinking, switch your thoughts about yourself and what could happen in your life and really coming back into um, the essence of magic with the universe. Um, but otherwise, Leo, this is somebody who you're finally seeing their true colors and they're not a nice person. Watch your back in April. Um, you, you will already know by the time this um, April comes who this person would be. It's not going to be any shocker at all. Okay. Um, it's just the worst of it you'll experience in April and it tapers off in May and by June it's a thing of the past. Okay. So April is really the only month so far that I'm like, ooh, so May, yeah, May you're moving on from it, okay, and this is by you really standing your ground, and again, um, whatever you're letting go of and walking away from here may try to come back in and reconcile with you, but I just don't think you're having any part of it. You're like, nope, you are a thing of the past. You were holding me back. Um, and, you know, Leo, I can say you don't think that, you know, the people that you're around the most have a whole lot of influence over you and your energy because you have your own mind and your own thoughts and your own emotions, right? Um, I've noticed with some certain friends that I had, I didn't really realize the negative impact they had in my life until they were gone. And then I realized like how a weight felt lifted off of me and how I felt happier and more positive and like the energies in my life started flowing much faster again. So some of you, that's the realization is once this is gone from you, it's trying to come back in. You're like, oh no, oh no, I'm moving on from this because I realize how much of a thorn in my side this is, how much of an anchor this is, how um, it keeps me underwater. So you're really breaking free and moving on from some really heavy crap that you've been dealing with, obviously, prior to 2021. And so March endings, April, it's a heavy 
by May, we're now moving on and you feel very strong and empowered and you're standing your ground and your mind is much more at ease. And then in June, yes, we could be going on a much needed vacation, Leo, with the sun and the palace of swords, okay, but also with this, um, this palace of swords is the highest energy of the sword suit and paired with the sun, this is ultimate clarity and illumination for you, Leo, um, where you just, whatever this is, it's a thing of the past and it's not going to hurt you and harm you again. You have, um, your mind is so much more relaxed. Um, you feel happy again. Your energy in general is much more elevated and it's because this anchor is gone from your life. Finally. Okay. And, um, it's like also with this, after that's gone, you just elevate like crazy. All right. So June, very positive month. July, we have the Seven of um, Wands. So again, this King of Coins, I feel is somebody coming in that's really going to help you out and help you be grounded, Leo, because it, here's Mars and Leo, so this is your energy, and there just may be a lot going on in July that you're unsure about, and this person is like advising you or um, offering you support and assistance, just really, really being there for you. So whoever this King of Pentacles is, it's like your saving grace in July and um this also this person I feel protects you has your back so if there's anything um, like you know being said amongst friends or in the workplace about you this is somebody who would um, stop that immediately and put people in their place okay this is somebody who has your back and is going to defend you till the end and uh, it may be that you need this kind of energy on your side for whatever's going on in July but this person will defend you till the end and you can count on them and you can trust them, Leo. And with the Ten of Cups, we have this Queen of Swords. So this is also in August, um, a potential time of reconciliation, you know, where somebody is wanting to make things right with you or work things out, get back in your good graces. Um, coming through as the Queen of Swords, I just still don't see you ready or open to receive anything back from the past, okay? Also, some of you in August, there is like somebody in your family or a friend that you would consider family you haven't seen in a while that's coming to visit you or you're going to go visit them. And this person, um, the conversations that you share, they're going to really open up your mind to some different concepts and perceptions that you haven't thought of before. And it's just like, aha, ding, 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 ding. Okay. Um, and this person also, much like this king of pentacles, you know, is supporting you, is loyal, is there for you. The only negative uh, energy I felt from this is that this is somebody trying to come back in and reconcile with you. You're like, nope, I'm still not ready. And I don't, I don't ever think of Leos as like really holding grudges, like in all the Leos that I've met, you guys can get really, um, you know, mad and, and angry, but you're so quick to like move on from that energy. And whatever this is, if this is the same person like trying to come back in, you are like, no, I'm going to hold a grudge for five lifetimes. All right. Which is so not like you. So they must have really ruffled up your feathers. All right. So with this Knight of uh, Pentacles, we have the Knight of Wands. So in September, this could be another new friend for Leo, okay, and you guys are going to just really enjoy each other, um, spend a lot of time together because, you know, Aquarius, which is where Saturn and Jupiter are moving into, is about socializing and networking and friends and things like that, and so in September, I just see you um, more focused on enjoying life, um, hanging out with friends, socializing, and, uh, you know, just not really worried about money or relationships or life. This is where you are truly 
enjoying life and you're happy and um, a lot of activities you are um, going to or being invited to in September. And now with this Palace of uh, Pentacles, we have the Death card. Um, so this, um, we have transformation here. We got the death there and we got the death here. Now, this to me is again where, you know, we are buying our dream house. So the transformation is like, you know, the old living and now transforming into the new living. Um, also, those of you that feel as though you lost assets, money, resources up here, it now returns to you here, okay? Because this is an interesting um, pairing of cards because the Pentacles, uh, the Palace of Pentacles, is the highest denomination of the Pentacles energy. So it essentially goes above this Ten of Pentacles, okay? So here in March, this door is closing on something that did mean a great deal to you. And now here in October... The, a different door opens and is bringing to you something much, much bigger than what you feel you lost or what you left behind. Okay, so that's a pretty powerful message. Um, an ending in March is bringing forth a new energy, like the replacement of what you lost in October. Also, um, the death card is the card that represents Scorpio in the tarot. And Scorpio season starts... Um, around I think it's like October 22nd 23rd ish okay so October is a very powerful time for Leo a major transformation of what had to end what was lost in early part of the year now comes to you in a new form much bigger and better okay so just remember that in uh, March whatever this is that you're walking away from or door closing Spirit has something in store for you that um, is going to make it, you know, like you're not going to feel like you lost by uh, October, that's for sure. Okay, so with this uh, Ace of Pentacles, nice. We've got the Fool. Um, more opening doors, whatever came to you here in October has just put you on a whole new path forward. And um, this also here, you know, we do see where some of you may be selling your house. And here at the end of the year, that could be like um, you're selling your house because you're literally moving to like a new state or a new country. And that's going to take a lot of courage, right? Um, but in November, it's all about new beginnings and new energy. So if somebody's trying to come back and reconcile with you at that point, that might be when you're ready, okay? November would be the soonest that you're ready and, and open. But remember, with the, this last eclipse of the year, we have this opening door. And because this is general, Leo, this new opening door, this new path is obviously different for all of you. Just know that November, October and November are uh, the game changers here for you. And there is a uh, beautiful new energy of some kind, like new job, new commitment, new relationship, um, you embarking on a whole new path that is completely unfamiliar and unknown to you. The Fool is also about having to take a risk, but Spirit is saying in November, when this comes knocking on your door, don't hesitate, don't hold back, don't let fear talk you out of it, jump in, this is meant for you, this is your path, and it's the beginning of a, a very long travel where there's a lot of um, abundance, success, potential, and growth that comes to you, Leo. So the end of the year, definitely opening doors and energy that you lost now returning to you in a different form. And with the tower, oh my gosh, you end the year better than any of the other signs, okay? And I only got three more reads after you. This is where something that you've been dreaming, fantasizing about, hoping for, for a very, very, very long time, now manifests and comes to you very unexpectedly, very shocking energy, but you're like, wow, 
well played universe well played you go out with a bang um 2021 even though there's a little bit of hairiness here may feel like one of the best years you've had in a while leo especially the way that you end this year so uh, congrats to you guys. Um, I will be doing a 2021 love forecast reading separately from all this, so that's why I didn't touch on it romance too much in this reading. It's to come, but um, out with the old, out with the anchors, the thorns, the bars, the things that hold you down, tie you down, hold you back, it's you're done with that. The horse is coming in to run over all of that and break you free. And I see that some of you are truly moving on to greener pastures, like literally um, in home situations, um, moving into a much better living situation or outright moving to a different state or different country, Leo. And, um, you know, whatever happens there in March and April, by May, you're truly moving on from it. And then by October, there is uh, something that comes to you as a replacement of energy from what you uh, may have lost in March, okay? And then uh, November, December, embarking on a brand new path and journey and going out with a bang because of some big, beautiful surprise that the universe has in store for you, Leo. So let's pull you a message from your angels. Yeah, and here at the end with these last two eclipses in November and December, we got positive shift and opening doors. So expect the unexpected around uh, the end of the year in a very positive way. All right, rainbow. You are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold waits beyond the horizon. All will clear soon. I trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed. 2021, you get your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow after this storm, Leo. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.